What's up everybody, welcome to Magic for Beginners. My name is Keith and in today's episode we're going to be doing a magic review of Bluetooth by Cyrus Magic and the Premium Magic Store. You may think that you have this built into your phone already but it's not that file transfer system that we all know by the name. This is a utility device to be used with your regular deck of cards to perform effects such as the Rising Card, Haunted Deck and an effect where the card shoots out of the deck and so much more. Let's talk about the routine and trick as stated. This is a utility device which you can use for a number of effects with a regular deck of cards. Some of these effects include the classic Rising Card, the Haunted Deck and a bunch of other effects but the possibilities are endless. The first time I saw this effect at Blackpool was the other year and it was the card shooting out from a spread and I found it absolutely amazing. I ended up buying Phoenix instead as I love fire but then I got this from Cyrus this year at Blackpool as I kept seeing it I loved it and I needed to get it. From the ad copy for the trick too it states that there's no invisible thread, no loops, no magnets and has no special decks or weight that can be done without any hookups or attachments which gives you a complete handoff effect. So how much does this cost if you want to buy Bluetooth? You can pick this up for about £30 on sites such as Alakazam, Penguin, Magic Box and other sites. If you can get to a convention though like Blackpool then I believe that you can pick this up for about the same amount but Cyrus always has discounts on when you buy multiple routines so it'll work out cheaper per effect if you buy multiple effects from his stand. Before we get into the review further he's a quick performance to show how Bluetooth could be used. This is just one effect that you can do with it, and this was filmed at Blackpool Magic Convention 2024. Anyone you like, free choice. Yeah. Show the camera. Yeah. In the back. Open the back yeah. in the centre. Nothing in my left. Nothing in my right. Finding your cards easy. It's right there. Yeah. Once it goes in the middle, it becomes much, much harder. Yeah. Nothing. 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 Keep your eye on the cards. Finding your cards easy, getting it to you, you see my shadow, yeah. watch. <laughs> but it's only a good trick if it's your card. It's my card! <laughs> That's amazing! That's Bluetooth you get, by you Cyrus Magic. One. So what do you get with this? You get the packet to hold everything in with the Bluetooth sticker on the front to show you what the trick is. Inside of that packet you get two of the gimmicks that are already set up and done and ready to perform with so you can perform the effect right away. You can buy this in either a blue or a red bicycle rider back set so whichever deck you perform with then I get this one. You also get an instruction card too which has details for the tutorial and you also get some of the additional things needed if you break the gimmick or want to use a different deck than what you have bought so you can create this gimmick. So if you've got a special deck that you want to use you can do that. This is also detailed in the tutorial for how to repair or create your own. Let's talk about the tutorial. The instruction card comes with a link to the Premium Magic website tutorial hidden page and once you're there there's a YouTube video embedded so you can watch it on the website or YouTube itself. The tutorial is 36 minutes in total and features Cyrus talking about the trick for how to perform it, how to repair the gimmick and also some performances using Bluetooth. So where can you perform this and how easy is it to perform? This trick is something which is easily performed by most magicians and doesn't require any sort of complicated slides so even beginner magicians can pick this up, learn it and perform it. As there's a few different effects that you can do with this, you can perform in three or four effects one after the other using this gimmick. You can do this surrounded to as there's not really any angle specific issues with this as such. If you're worried about it then audience management is the key and you're good to go. Can you inspect it? You can't inspect the gimmick as such but as stated it'll be there in plain sight and the way it's constructed you can't see anything on the face of the card unless you look closely but waving it in front of the spectator you won't be able to see anything. The back of the blue deck version can be shown around more flippant compared to the red version but you can show most of the back no problem and with the hand positioned in the correct place you can freely show it. Showing the cards as a spread is easily done too and there's no worries or showing the gimmick or anything so it can be easily inspected that way too. Is it well made? The two gimmicks that you get with it are both made and are done and good to go once you take them out of the packet. I took one and had it set up in the deck and it was good to go and I was performing this in no time at all after watching the tutorial of how to perform each effect using the gimmick. I think the gimmick should last a long time too but again of course you get some replacement stuff to help repair your current gimmicks or create a new one so if you break it then you can easily fix it. Before we jump into the positives and negatives of this I just want to say a huge thank you to everyone that has subscribed to the channel, it means a lot to me. 
I've opened up a members section on YouTube too for those who want to support the channel. You get access to all of the videos on the channel before they're actually released to the public. You get members only behind the scenes things and so much more. Check out the description for more details. Let's talk about the positives of this trick then. One of the positives is that you'll find with this trick is that Though the trick comes with two gimmicks already made, you get the stuff and the tutorial of how to make one. So if you don't use bicycle decks or want to use like a horror themed deck at Halloween to perform some scary haunted deck and rising card tricks, then you can create your own gimmick to match the deck that you're using. The gimmick itself can be held inside a normal deck of cards too, so and it's invisible too, so it won't be found by the spectator from the deck. And then when you're ready to use the gimmick, you can have easy access to it and make use of it. Because of the nature of the gimmick 2, there's no reset time, so you can perform the same effect or another effect using the gimmick straight away. But of course, you don't want to do that. The effects that you can perform with the gimmick are extremely visual too, which is absolutely amazing. It means that you can perform some great visual stuff for social media, and it's always something that you can have on you. So if someone asks you to show them a trick, and you want to have something that you'll remember by this is the thing to do as there's not many tricks like having a deck spread out and having a card shoot out of the deck without even touching it that has like a, a reputation creator let's jump into the negatives and it's not negatives as such but it's something which is on the inspection section and it's that if you go for the red backed version you'll have something which will show up on the back of the cards but if you go for the blue version, then this thing is hidden much better. If you use red decks, maybe it's time to switch to blue decks to use this gimmick without the fear of showing anything off. But even with the, the red back version, you can still show the gimmick if you keep your hand over a certain bit on the back of the deck. Again, not a negative on the effect, but more of the gimmick as such. But as you can hide it easy in the deck, that doesn't make any difference at all. But I thought it was worth noting for this. That is my review for Bluetooth by Cyrus Magic. If you want to check out any of the Cyrus's effects, I do have another review on the channel for Phoenix, which is a torn and restored card effect using fire, which is always a good thing. And the video should be up on the screen now. It's also in description below. It's a fantastic effect, so check that out. And until next time, see ya.